Oh, what's going on, YouTube? This is Chris with MyVaporSite.com. I didn't know y'all were here. That was pretty cheesy, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Hey, this is, uh, I told y'all I wasn't going to do the hands anymore. This is vlog number six. And it's going to be a little longer than normal. I got a lot to talk about. Starting with this sugar and cream. Is this a knockoff of the uh, peaches and cream that some people use for wicking material? I don't know. It says made in Canada, 100% USA cotton, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I might try it sometime, but I just figured I'd pick it up at a local place called Michael's. Well, I don't know. It might be a chain. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, this is going to be a little longer than normal. The day started off with uh, fake mail. Uh, my old charger here can't hold the 26, 26650 battery, so I had to get a new uh, new charger here. This is an LCD charger. It's a LUC V4 from uh, DeFest. Wow, got some batteries clicking around in there. In addition to getting this, I got half of my shipment. Ordered uh, half of them from one place and half of them from another. Uh, ordered some more 18650s, a few uh, 26650s, uh, 18500s, and 350s. And I'm good thing I bought the 350s because I uh, got something to put those in now. Well, I already have this one. This one takes 350s or 500s, and uh, that's why I got the 500 so I could do the battery test on this. So, but anyway, um, I don't have any uh, 26650 mods when I got this either, but I plan to soon. Well, maybe sooner than you think. Anyway, so that, that's the vape mail that started that way around noon today. And about 2 o'clock today, oh wait, I got a new shirt. The Cloud Lounge. I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. Um, um, decided about two o'clock that I was going to drive an hour up to Birmingham, Alabama, and visit as many of the um, vape shops up there as I could. There's uh, there's plenty. There's one here in Tuscaloosa, but there's I don't know in the Birmingham area at least twelve, even more. Um, actually, I saw one that I'd never heard of on the way between them, but I didn't stop because I didn't know anything about it. So anyway, I wanted to hit five or six, and uh, well, most of them closed six, seven o'clock. One of them closed at eight. So I hit it on up there, and I uh, started with Bama Vapors. It's in Homewood, Alabama, which is you know all this is part of Birmingham. The Birmingham, you know, Birmingham spread out. Um, so you know, I got in there, and I, I was able to talk to Scott, Scott and a couple other guys over there, and we talked about juice, and we talked about this, we talked about that. Uh, Bama Vapors has one of the largest stocks of any of the stores in the Birmingham area. They have a lot of authentics, um, a lot of do-it-yourself uh, juice materials or supplies. They've got rebuilding supplies. They've got a pretty stocked store, uh, lots of juices. They have a few of their own li lines of juice as well. Really nice store. Um, Scott does a really good job up there, and it's one of the top two in Birmingham as far as, you know, the, I mean, they're all great in their own sense, but it's one of the top two in as far as uh, inventory. So, really good staff, whatever. Um, anyway, while I was in there, I met the owner of another store in Montgomery called Nebulous Vapors, and uh, we had a good chat talked about you know industry related stuff it was pretty cool uh, I gotta get down to Montgomery and check them out but they're in a they're, it's called nebulous vapors so um, you know I can't go in a vape store without walking out with something so uh, I, you know had to try a few things uh, I've, I've tried every space jam except every space jam flavor I uh, don't have any handy Never mind. every space jam flavor except for uh, the newest one they got, which is called Galactica, which is a uh, strawberry vape. But uh, really, I, I mean, I like them all. They're all pretty good in their own right. But Pluto is my favorite by far. It's that watermelon minty kind of thing going on, and my phone is ringing. We're just going to ignore that phone. Uh, <laughs> it was probably work trying to call me out. So anyway, um, decided to give a few juices a try that I haven't haven't gotten a chance to and I've heard good things about so uh, like I said Galactica is uh, Space Jam's 
newest flavor and uh, they describe it as a uh, fresh strawberry washed over your taste buds with a crisp champagne note on the exhale so anyway we're gonna give that one a try Mr. E liquid this is I've heard really good things about this flavor vape nectar it's a uh, blend of vanilla cantaloupe honeysuckle and raspberry that just sounds pretty cool to me so got those in 10 mil sizes because you know if I don't like them I can just give them to somebody or something uh, roughneck which is a dry non-sweet tobacco mm -hmm, mm -hmm. got these in 12 milligrams and then uh, you know <laughs> I wanted to uh, see why Senator Boxer was so uh, upset about this flavor you know, saying it's for kids and all. I'm a big kid, so I figured I'd check out strawberry cotton candy. Wow, somebody really wants to get in touch with me. Pink spot papers. We're going to pause this and see what Yeah, so I'm on vacation this week, and, uh, well, I'm not going to take the call out. So, turning out money. Anyway, so back to Bama Vapors. Like I said, they got a really good selection, and, you know, I grabbed it handful of uh, little liquids from them, so we're going to check those out. Uh, I'm no stranger to Bama Vapors. I've been there before and I also ordered this. This is my uh, Sumod with the Mephisto Authentic. And I got it from them and I really like it a lot. So if you uh, need a Mephisto, they actually have some more in stock on their website now. So anyway, after, after I visited Bama Vapors, and like I said, I was trying to hit five or six and only end up hitting four, two of which I've been to before, so I kind of actually should have skipped those and went to ones that I had never been to, but eh, anyway. So I headed over and saw my buddy Jason Camp, a real nice guy I met last time I went up there at Vulcan Vape, which is also in Homewood, about a 10 minute drive from Bama Vapor, two of them in the same vicinity, it's kind of crazy. So um, I had put up a feeler on the Birmingham Facebook group looking to see what shops I should go to and somebody actually suggested a certain e-liquid uh, by a company called the Vapor Hut which I believe is also in Alabama it's called Mossy Oak and it only came in 30 mil bottles and figured I'd give it a whirl Mossy Oak is described as a cinnamon banana vanilla with nun nutty undertones not sure if I'm gonna like it because I don't really like any nutty vapes, but we'll see what what, what it's like. And I had to go with one of those kind of uh, some of the popular brands that are on. You know, a lot of vape stores have Mr. Good Vape. Uh, just I could not pass up that name right there. I used to like that drink, Bahama Mamas. It's a uh, banana, pineapple, coconut, candy colada, and cream. If that doesn't speak straight up Senator Boxer's alley of marketing to kids. I don't know what will. And Rockefeller, he doesn't like them either. So then we uh, we got the one of the, the fancier brands, Allison Vapeland, comes with a little charm on there. What is that little, I don't even know what that is. I can't even tell. Can you see it? Let's see. Yeah, it's not going to focus. But anyway, <laughs> orange creamsicle. I cannot wait to taste this. I loved creamsicles as a kid, and I've tried two or three different creamsicle vapes so far, and I've liked them both. But while I was there, I could not. I had to. My first authentic 26650 mod that has liquid dripping out of the uh, the uh, Addy right now. I got a I got a clone 26650 uh, Tobe Addy. Uh, but the the mod itself is a 26650 um, authentic. It's from Super T. It's called Precisely Sim Precise Simplicity, and I was pretty much sold. These uh, you can't really see it, but it's a it's a solid body, one one two, and there's a ridged kind of line work on there, and it, it's just it feels amazing. I mean, it really does, and it is pretty good too. I built a .33, roughly .33 uh, dual coil in there tonight, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot. 
So anyway, um, I left from, um, oh heck, uh, can't remember, Vulcan Vape, and I headed up north to uh, to Gardendale, which is north, a little, probably about 20 minutes north of where I was, and uh, I was headed to a place called Pure Essence, but on the way there, another new store, it's only been open a couple months, I passed by it and I said, you know what, I'm passing by it, might as well slide up in there and see what they got. It's called Fergie Vapes. And uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe the guy that runs it, his name is Fergie. Guy with a big old Santa Claus beard, cool dude. Um, <laughs> so they had just gotten in a new line of liquid by a company out of Mobile called Cy Cyclops Vapor. And uh, I went ahead and decided to try their line of juice and there's four of them here we got uh, Artemis which is described as I'll just read you off this card a berry cobbler that blends the best of baked crust and sweet berry to pierce your taste buds like Artemis's own air arrows so Artemis the next one is Colossus and this one is described as a rich eggy vanilla custard with subtle fruit overtones undertones that custard fans rave about and we got Poseidon and that is a complex fruit and melon medley that transforms from inhale to exhale and finally Athena a delicious apple blend delivering a smooth natural semi-tart green apple with a touch of sweet red apple so pretty much all the apples you could think of in one vape so I was almost out the door and he mentioned a really cool um, I had mentioned that I was where to go you know I had a dead battery in this my 350 was uh, 18350 was dead in here he said, well, I got an 18350 mod for you. And he showed me this. It only takes an 18350 battery. And he says it's pretty unique. There's none. He, he, the only person that sells these is in Canada or something. It's made in China, but it is a grenade-looking mod. And uh, it's kind of like the Anakin Cool Fire 2, except for this one kind of looks more like a grenade. And... Uh, fires a lot differently you got a tube inside of this this body you just to pull it off and throw 18 350 battery in there and push it down and vape pretty cool little uh, little mod there kind of conversation piece kind of mod so I've got the uh, black fogger v4 up on top of it so uh, I got some liquid in that from them and then I headed up to where I was on my way to in the first place, which was Pure Essence. And I uh, had a really good conversation with Ron, the owner of that shop. And uh, this shirt came from there. It says the Cloud Lounge. And on the back it says Pure Essence and some other stuff. And uh, he handed me the, or hooked me up with a shirt. And I really appreciate it. Nice and green. I chose green because the big size I had to get. They only had black and green left. And, uh, well... I got about a hundred black t-shirts and my wife said no more black t-shirts I'm not allowed to get it when I got the vaping militia t-shirt she said that's enough no more black t-shirts so anyway while I was there um, give me a tour of the shop which is pretty cool it's kind of se separated into different rooms you walk in and you've got the uh, cashier and uh, some other you know some things like uh, uh, lanyards and some other accessories and then you head to the next room Behind that room is a build room where it looks like you know all the, the builds are and they do something that I like to see in a vape shop is when you buy an RDA or whatever, they'll build they'll help you build it or either show you how to build it or build the first one for free, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of shops either charge you for it or don't even offer it at all. And uh, that was pretty cool. So uh, you go to you know, when you walk in you got the cashier there and then you go to the left and in that room they've got some uh, some low to mid range mods, uh, ego batteries, stuff like that. And then you go past there and you got walls of liquids, basically. And then past there is a big, twice as big as the other two rooms, lounge, which I guess that's where the cloud lounge comes from. 
and uh, it's a really nice room, good lighting, tables, you know, couch, some higher end mods and some authentic authentic and clone mods in the back of the room. Really cool. We sat in there and talked about 30 minutes. It is a really nice atmosphere and I think, you know, vapors talking to vapors, vapors vaping with vapors. I mean, you can go into a room like that, a lounge situation and just BS forever and it's it's awesome. I mean, it, it's a place to talk. So while we were in there talking though, a uh, guy named, uh, I believe his name is Blake, comes in and he's a co-owner of a, a juice line, a local juice line up in that area called, uh, I'd hit that. And uh, we talked about it and pretty much they, they have a line of juices that are basically just for, for drippers. And I uh, decided to go ahead and give a couple of their bottles a try. They've got uh, Pink Elephant which is uh, described as a mixture of six of the best watermelons. I thought all watermelons were alike. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I actually have tried this already. I tried it on, uh, as soon as I built the coals on this and I quite like it. I quite like it. So um, 75 VG so it's definitely built for for some clouds and this one's 93 VG and this is called FN Amazing. I'm not really sure what that FN, FN stands for. But uh, it's described as an FN amazing peach blend. FN, FN. I don't know. You figure it out. <laughs> so and uh, yeah. So when I was on my way out the door, I have uh, I just got done reviewing the Anakin Click and uh, really liked the whole clicking part portion of it. And it was pointed out to me that the newer Vision Spinner twos have a click voltage selector as well. So. Since I had this real bright green shirt, I figured I'd get something to match it, right? And grab me a vision spinner. It's a pretty neat thing. It's got a button. Uh, the button's not really sticking out much. It's kind of just barely above the surface. And you press it in and it turns white. Pretty nice vape there. So, anyway, so that's my day. A meal day and a little bit of driving around does it count? Doesn't, you know vape mail count if you actually go get it I don't know but anyway so we got lots to look at lots to vape with now Ooh, that's still hot oh wow I had it sitting down on the button that ain't good anyway <laughs> I gotta be more safe on that but anyway my name's Chris and I am with myvaporsite.com this has been vlog, which I didn't actually tell you. This is vlog number six. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good day.